and welcome to a quick product tour. The Brainly platform is specially designed to help you create ads based on your store's customer journey. In the main dashboard, you can easily view the three different campaigns that make up your store's journey. Each campaign has different goals and allows you to reach potential customers at different stages of their decision-making process as they discover, learn to trust, and ultimately decide to buy from your store. The Top of Funnel campaign helps you reach new audiences and bring people to your store at a low cost. It's configured to reach a wide audience and catch the attention of people who don't yet know your brand by using engaging formats like high-quality images, videos, and GIFs. The Middle Funnel campaign helps you showcase your brand's unique value and help visitors discover something they love in your store. It's configured to engage and build trust with the people who clicked on the Top of Funnel ads, engage with your store on Facebook or Instagram, or who may have visited your website but not yet viewed your products. Finally, the Bottom of Funnel campaign helps you boost sales by retargeting your warmest prospects. This campaign shows your product catalog to people who have viewed your product pages, added something to their cart, or made a purchase in the past. In the main dashboard, you can manage your total monthly budget. You simply set the total amount you want to spend on ads per month and Brainly will intelligently split the budget between your active campaigns and ad sets. By automatically balancing your budget on a daily basis, Brainly ensures your spend is optimized for maximum conversions and saves you a lot of time and effort. At the bottom of this page is the results section where you can easily analyze your campaign performance. You can use filters to see results for each specific section of your funnel or see results from only specific audiences. Now let's head into the Top of Funnel campaign and see what it looks like building ads in Brainity. In this section, you are able to view and manage all audiences and ads inside the campaign. Let's build an audience by clicking Create New Audience and following the steps. First, give your audience a name, like Beauty Product Lovers. Then choose your segmentation. Then choose where you want to advertise. Brainly will learn your preferred advertising locations and suggest them as you use the platform. You can also choose to exclude regions here. Next, choose your audience type. You can create an interest-based audience and view brainy suggestions, or you can build lookalike audiences from people with similar characteristics as people who engaged with your brand in the past. Brainy's automatic lookalike feature automatically detects new pixel events and updates your data source to build the highest value lookalike audience possible. If your store has very different product categories and different potential customer personas, you can use the specific URL source to build different lookalike audiences based on URLs or keywords. For example, you could create a lookalike audience of only visitors who viewed your hoodie products and create a separate lookalike audience of people who interacted with other categories to be able to send each different audience very different messages depending on their different interests. Next, you can begin to build your ads. In the top of funnel, you can build either dynamic creative or static ads. Dynamic Creative Ads allow you to upload up to 10 images, videos, or GIFs, and 5 different text versions. By mixing and matching, you're able to test 25 different combinations and optimize towards the best performing ad. Single Ads allow you to build each ad one by one so you can create ads with specific text that go with specific images. Let's make a dynamic ad. We'll name it and upload up to 10 creatives. Then we'll fill in a few different text versions. the headlines, and the link. The preview feature allows you to preview your ad and view the different combinations and formats. Once your audience and ads are launched, you can duplicate, delete, edit, and more from within the campaign manager, as well as view the important metrics associated with each audience and each individual ad. Now let's check out the Middle Funnel campaign. As mentioned before, this campaign's goal is to retarget people who showed interest in your store by building trust and engagement. Let's create a Middle Funnel campaign. The Middle Funnel allows you to create audiences from templates. You can choose between wide retargeting that will reach your warm prospects who visited your store or engaged on Facebook or Instagram, or more narrow retargeting, reaching only store visitors or social engagers. If you want to use advanced strategies and have a larger advertising budget, you can also make an advanced audience selection. This allows you to retarget based on specific URLs or keywords and send precise ads to different groups of prospective customers. Like in the top funnel, you then create your ads. Let's choose the second option. Here I pre-filled this middle ad with some text and three creatives. You can check the preview and scroll through the carousel before launching. Now let's move on to the bottom of funnel campaign. 
This campaign uses your store's product catalog to intelligently retarget visitors with the products they actually engaged with. This funnel has a feature to help automatically crop your store's product images to best showcase your products in the ads. Let's take a look at one of these bottom campaigns. Similar to the middle funnel, you can create a retargeting audience with templates. The templates allow you to retarget visitors who viewed products or abandoned carts. You can also make an advanced selection. You can choose to retarget for all your in-stock products or create product sets to do more specific strategies and retarget based on different behaviors. You can include more visitors, create additional rules to exclude visitors, or delete these rules. For example, with the current setup shown, my ads would show new hoodies to people who purchased items in the last 180 days, but would exclude people who made their purchase in the last 14 days. The bottom of funnel uses dynamic product ads, which means your audience is showing the actual products they viewed in your store in a carousel format. When building these ads, you can use dynamic text elements to ensure the text change to match the dynamic products shown. You can also use intro cards by uploading an image and text here. The card is shown before the dynamic product carousel and can be a good way to introduce a collection of products or offer a discount. As you can imagine, there are many more exciting features and ways to use Brainity, but with this quick product tour, you now have a good understanding of how Brainity makes it easy to create a three-step advertising funnel that will help you prospect new opportunities and engage them over time to increase your store's sales. Thanks for watching, and we hope you will head to our install page and give us a try. Good luck.